Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel and to another video. So this one is highly requested when I announced that maybe I should do such. You said in the comments like yeah, yeah, please, please, only, please, no video. So here you have it. There's a pear video coming for you. Of course there's so many pear fragrances but these are the ones that I truly 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 think are worth it they don't smell cheap they smell so nice i have some cheapies some niche so for everyone there is something so i'm gonna start with the one that i do not have a full bottle of unfortunately but before i start actually there's one thing i forgot to tell you please subscribe <coughs> Done. Please subscribe to my channel and of course activate the bell and follow me on Instagram. That would be lovely. I'll be very happy. You would make me so happy. So let's start. The first one, it's a cheapy and it's very, very nice. And it's natural, natural ingredients, very nice, very nicely done. And that is from Ariana Grande and it's called God is a Woman, which I truly believe in. And uh, God is a Woman is a beautiful pear with ambrette. I really do like it. The first time I smelt it, I was in love. Uh, it's just so beautiful and flirty and feminine and spring-like. It's like spring in the bottle. I truly love God is a Woman. I think I'm gonna get a bottle. The only thing is that the longevity is not the best. I mean, it does sit on the skin for quite a bit, but it doesn't project too much. You really have to shower yourself with it. However, I think it's just, for an intimate scent, it's lovely. It's a good one to go to work wearing. Uh, I just love it. I just truly, truly love it. Uh, the bottle is not that bad either. You know, it's okay-ish. So yeah, Ariana Grande, God is a Woman, is a very nice pair. I really hope she releases a sequel to it, maybe something stronger. You know, I'm still waiting for Cloud Intense to be here in Europe, but it's nowhere to be found. So, you know, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. But yeah, in general, God is a Woman um, is widely available and it's not expensive. So if you want a nice pair, I think that's the one that you should go with. All right, next one, I have my love just love i have to mention it because it's very pear prominent and that is la belle from jean paul gaultier and i adore this pear that's in here it is vanilla vetiver and pear and it is so beautiful it's very potent this one it lasts forever so you're getting great value for your money the bottle is gorgeous of course if you want something that's very pear prominent i would go with the original not the le parfum uh, this one is paired to its maximum actually let me spray it on a tester just to remind myself how much i love it yeah i love it very much <laughs> I'm gonna say that I love it very much it's fruity vanilla but you know not like a ball of fruits nothing like artificial fruits it's just that juicy pear beautiful just beautiful and the vetiver really ties it all in together and makes it a beautiful fragrance that lasts forever so I truly truly recommend it for two years I've been recommending it I don't care what other people say this is a gorgeous scent um, there is a new one that's been released and when I said in my one of my last videos that I want to try it you guys said that's not that good so I'll be thinking about it I'll surely test it for you so that you can be sure of but yes this one the OG is fantastic and if you want a true beautiful sweet oh just amazing pair you have to have this one so that is that next i have another gorgeous pair for very not much money if that even is grammatically correct which probably isn't but that's okay what i mean it's cheap and the bottle is beautiful the pear is here the vanilla is here with some other notes it kind of smells like carolina herrera uh, but so much better and that is Roberto Cavalli Gemma di Paradiso so if you want a nicely blended version of Herrera good girl with pear this is the one this is the one and the bottle is magnificent in my opinion 
Mm, so lovely. Just so, so lovely. It's also a very nice option for summertime. Uh, it is a deeper scent. It's not like, you know, your airy citrus or anything. It's a deeper scent, nice vanilla with woods, uh, but it's not too cloying. So I think it's gorgeous for every day, but also um, more sensual environment, like a date night, it will work perfectly. So if you want a darker pair, uh, with some nice twist to it and you are a fan of good girl I think this one will be perfect for you. The longevity is very nice um, The projection is moderate, but if you overspray it will be quite strong So yes, that is Gemma the Paradiso and I really love the bottle I must say I am a sucker for green Maybe it's because my eyes are green and you know, I, it just naturally draws my attention those beautiful earthy natural green tones mm, love it i also love being in nature so you know this one just it's like a nature in a gemstone whatever yeah love it so that is gemma another one uh, I, I am really going through the cheapies today uh but it's good, it's good, it's good. It actually means that they are very nice fragrances for a great price that have a pear accord. Uh, next one is from Zara. And this one is pear and rose and musk. This is more of a powdery pear. Uh, this one lasts forever on me, so I never have problems with longevity. I love wearing it day to day. To me, it's, it's a beautiful, classy, feminine fragrance and it is captivatingly Paris and this is from of course Jo Malone's Vibrant Cities collection. I love it. It's so good. It's so good. It's truly beautiful guys. I I love it. It's so nice and just so bubbly and fluffy. It's like a pillowcase of marshmallowy fluffy pear and rose. So nice. I'm not sure if it makes sense. I'm kind of rambling in this video, right? But that's okay. I'm showing you good fragrances at least. Captivatingly Paris is, I think, my favorite from the whole collection, even though there are very nice ones in general. This one just stole my heart. It's so fluffy. It's just like a cocooning, beautiful, sugary, musky pear and some rose in here so so nice and again the longevity is fantastic the bottle's not bad at all yeah i really love wearing it it's again good to day to day it's good for work it's good for dates it's a nice all-rounder you know if you love those feminine fluffy fragrances this one is fantastic so yeah paris it is guys paris it is what do we have next i have one niche now I actually have two niche, but that's okay. We have Juliet Has a Gun Pear Ink. And this is my discovery of the end of last year, I think, or early Jan. I just adore this. I actually did wear it in very cold weather and it did work. It was beautiful. But this one is uh, Green Pear and Broxin and Musks. So this is, I would say, fresher, more realistic and more mature alternative to Ariana Grande, uh, God is a Woman. You have this beautiful, again, like greenish pear, quite realistic, but it still has a lot of sweetness. I would say it's fresher though. It's beautiful even for doing sports if you want to feel feminine doing sports i think this one is great but again i wear it day to day i wear it for some appointments it's just so so nice and uh, juliet has a gun actually doesn't have bad prices for a niche house so i highly recommend checking them out of course everything will be linked below for you as usual but this one I think stole my heart out of all the fragrances from the brand. I still do really want to get Sunny Side Up, but I'm kind of hesitating. I don't know why. I'm just weird sometimes. But yes, Pear Incorporated is fantastic. It's just so fresh. It's more aquatic than any other I showed you. Um, it's again a little bit more like sporty, you know? It's like re refreshing, like uplifting. 
so nice. The longevity is great on clothes and hair. On skin, I would say, I would say on skin it becomes a skin scent quite quickly, like in two hours. But from your clothing, it has a very nice projection. So I would say with this one, mainly spray all over yourself as you are already dressed up because it really, really works on materials. Uh, then you'll actually make this fragrance shine. So that's my two cents on it and how to make it work perfectly that it projects and lasts. Mm, yeah, beautiful fragrance though. And uh, I love it. I really, really love it. I love the bottle, I really don't mind. Mm, just so nice, it, it makes me happy, okay? It makes me so, so happy. So this is your super fresh greener pear from Juliet. And here we have my ultimate fluffy, beautiful, bougie, super feminine one. And that is of course the Lina exclusive from Parfums de Marly. And this one has such a beautiful pear. That pair here is slightly similar to Paris from Zara. So if you want a cheap alternative, I'm not saying they're dupes, they're not. Uh, but there are some similarities in terms, on, in terms of how the fragrance wears. I think they are quite comparable. Uh, but I still recommend having this one no matter what. I know it's a hefty price here, but it's so worth it. It just makes you feel like a princess. So this one is very vanilla, pear, incense, oud. Amazing. I think there's some rose in here as well. So, so, so beautiful. It has that Delina DNA still. So, you know, it's still very unique. And when you smell it, you can tell it's definitely a Delina. Uh, but that pear makes the fragrance so fluffy and so beautiful. It's just another beautiful, cuddly, very feminine fragrance. And with this one, the longevity is outstanding. It's so long lasting, no matter where you spray it and how much you spray it, it's gonna last, it projects, everyone will compliment you. And the bottle is just to die for, isn't it? I just adore those bottles. My boyfriend hates them, but I don't care. I love it. So that is the Lina exclusive. I think out of all the Delinas, this one is the most, um, I would say, it's the best to get it in terms of longevity because this one is the best out of them all. Uh, but you have to be prepared for a very feminine fragrance. It's slightly powdery. You have wood in here, but it's nothing obnoxious. It's just anchoring the fragrance somewhere in the dry down. There's a lot of vanilla. I wouldn't say it's fresh. It's more like this fluffy, beautiful, precious fragrance that just envelops you with a beautiful bubble. Yeah, I said what I said. <laughs> I think that's it. That's enough for the Lina exclusive explanation. We can move on. And here I have a gorgeous fragrance that um, I think will suit any woman at any age. It is youthful yet very classy. It can be used for formal events, for parties even. It has amazing projection and sillage and longevity. This is a powerful fragrance and it's from Givenchy and that is the original Lantaldi. And this pair in the opening here is just beautiful. This fragrance is of course mainly a tuberose with some slight earthiness but not much uh, it is also quite vanillic it's very sweet it's also quite bubblegummy love it i love this one so much it's so pretty it is strong though so you have to be aware of that but this pair here i feel like it's pretty realistic of a pair it's not powdery here at all. It just gives you that fruity, juicy sweetness that almost makes your mouth water. Ay, so beautiful. With that bubblegummy, sweet, sweet tuberose, it's just done to perfection. I think for the money and considering how it lasts, this is very, very good. Like 
you have to have it unless you really don't like tuberose then yeah I understand it but otherwise you absolutely have to have it uh, if you don't know this fragrance back in the day was released especially and privately for Audrey Hepburn and uh, that's where the name came from because Givenchy wanted to you know make it sold worldwide in their boutiques and she forbid it so that's why it's called Jean Tordy. Uh, very funny story um, of course it smelled different back in the day this one is a very contemporary version of this fragrance but they've done it beautifully they have really done it beautifully and you know what for some reason I like sometimes matching brands I just feel very cool so when I wear Lanta D I like pulling out my Givenchy handbag and then I feel very cool for some reason I don't know if it's just me but you know it's just matchy matchy and yeah guys this is the one that I highly recommend super long lasting men also really like it by the way the next fragrance I want to talk to you about, unfortunately, I do not have the bottle anymore. I used to use it years ago when it was just released and I used to buy it in airports because they had the best prices for that line there. And it's from Gonglong and it is from Aqua Allegoria line and that is Pera Granita. And I adore this fragrance. Uh, that was one of the first strong pair uh, fragrances that I bought and I fell in love with the note of pear because of that fragrance. Uh, it's definitely light and airy, there's nothing too strong about it, uh, but the fragrance itself, it's beautifully blended and it just sits so nicely on the skin. It's quite refreshing at the same time, being quite sweet, so you get the best of both worlds. Uh, you, you guys know that I am a massive fan of Aqua Allegorias if it wasn't for their longevity, because it's usually absolutely crap. Uh, Peregranita wasn't that bad. I remember getting like five hours from it. I used to wear it to work very often and I got complimented, so yeah. It's a very nice all-rounder fragrance. There's nothing uh, very prominent in it. It's beautifully blended. So yes, Pera Granita, if you want something lighter, something quite fresh, quite feminine, uh, quite sweet, but not too sweet, I think you're gonna absolutely adore it. So yes, from Guerlain's collection, I think Pera Granita is fantastic. And last but not least, I have another fragrance that unfortunately I do not have at the moment. And that is from the Scandal range from Jean-Paul Gaultier. So Gaultier again here in this video. And that is Scandal à Paris. This is an eau de toilette fragrance. And this is a very nice spring salmon frank flanker, flanker <laughs> uh, to the original Scandal, which you guys know it's quite dense it's very honey prominent with this one you've got jasmine you've got pear and you've got honey so you still have that honeyed Scandal dna but it's all lifted up and you have a beautiful pear tone added to it i promise you it's so delicious i sniffed it many times in stores and again at the airports and i really really liked it the only thing is that it's eau de toilette and you know me being me i usually went with the eau de parfum but still i think it's a gorgeous scent if you love the dna of scandal if you love uh, honey i think for spring and summer scandal i paris was gonna be fantastic for you because you know honey and pear they go together very well very well trust me on this one um i think i should actually get it now that i'm speaking about it i decided now that i kind of need it in my life because it's so so nice like the honey and the pear it's a very sweet fragrance but it's actually quite refreshing at the same time you know it's not as dense and like oop in your face as scandal or scandal by night it's a nice everyday version so yes guys that's the last one for today i really hope you enjoyed the video uh, i really hope you enjoyed the list and let me know if there's any other pear fragrance that i should maybe get or review or test let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching and see you in my next one bye